Well, I don't think I'm gonna get any readier, so hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Lisa, and we are about to do it. This game was recommended to me by actually two of my Patreon patrons. And I know nothing about it, so why don't we just jump right in? This is a game by Dingaling. Shoutouts to Chuck Berry. Rip Chuck Berry. Died sort of recently. You little thief! Did I just get punched for stealing something? Uh, multiple times now. Stop! This game is full of some great visuals. It's basically a black screen with very small text at the top. Stop! It's got some great punching sound effects, though. Leave him alone. Somebody's getting bullied right here. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. Dot, dot, dot. I stole it. That's right, Brad. Stand up for what you did. Rick didn't do anything. Rick didn't do anything. Well, then who's Brad? What? Dot, dot, dot. You little bitch. Did somebody just step in for someone else taking a pounding? Oh boy. Idiots. Let's go, guys. Bunch of bullies. What the hell? That was pretty heavy. That was a pretty heavy start to this game. And if that's any indication of what the tone for the rest of this game is going to be like, well, I imagine it might be a tearjerker at some point. Thanks, Brad. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, okay, so I might be Brad. I'm sorry, you didn't have to cover for me. Oh, I... Wait, wait, wait. so if I talk to someone... Okay. You can stand in front of them to talk to them. Well, then how do I talk to this lady? No. I don't... I actually can't tell if this is a girl or a boy. I'm sorry, Brad. Sorry you got beat up. That's fine. I'll just head over to the swings. And play with them. No, I can't interact with them. What can I do? I can't even, like, open a menu. I can't do anything. <clears throat> and it looks as if there is a an overturned shopping cart blocking my way from jumping into the ravine. So that's fine with me. Let us exit this playground. It's a bright, sunny day, but... Can't go into this house. But the exclusion of any sort of music makes it a little ominous. There's a broken window. Broken just like the rest of this neighborhood. Ah, Bradley. When are you going to learn, boy? I don't really know if I had anything to learn. I stepped in for a friend, but of course, no one's going to realize that. Unless they talk to me and stop jumping to conclusions all the time. I can't go into any of those houses. And all of these trees are leaning to one side, like New Orleans post-Katrina. Except they don't all seem to be going to the same side. I have a feeling that's my house. That's the one that I need to go to. Olathe? It's perfect. I think there was an Olathe in Kansas, or was it Missouri? I don't know. I never went to it. Of course. This is... scary. I assume this is my house. Once again, my son steps into my house, beat to shit. What the fuck? I was not prepared for a game like this. I'm not buying you another shirt. Wow, okay. Again, like I was saying, I know nothing about this game. I mean, I sort of do now, but I kind of expected something like funny and akin to Earthbound. Worthless shit, kid. Jesus fucking Christ, go to your room. Now, I have a deadbeat dad who is very abusive. It's locked, like always. I'm gonna assume this is my room. What the hell is this? It's only making that 
strange noise when I um, interact with it. Okay, this must be my room. Also, yeah, you can totally see when my uh, friends log on to Steam. <laughs> A little notification popped up. He's crying. I'd fucking cry too. That was a heavy introduction. I don't know if I have the stamina, the mental fortitude, the emotional uh, perseverance to get through this game. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe that was a flashback. You took some joy. Good. It's probably a drug. Also, I want to say that that baby crying is real and not a side effect of the drug. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Cheryl? Uh... Shh. It's okay, little buddy. I just found a baby. Yes, throw it. Babies love that. Well, I guess it's sort of working. Oh my god. He dropped this little boy. I'm so sorry. I guess it could be a girl. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Is this a thing that just happens um, out in the wilderness? There we go. Good baby. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you somewhere safe. How are we going to feed this child? Uh, and yes, I can control my character now. I can only go left or right, slowly. And it seems that, um, you can't really, like, inch forward. You go a full space at a time when you walk. I don't know if that's ever going to be, you know, important. But it's part of the game, so I thought I'd mention it. Where am I heading back to? Are these the people from the first flashback? Brad! What is that? Holy shit! Is that a baby? <laughs> yeah, I guess I found a baby. That is weird, now that I think about it. Yeah! Yeah, it's a baby. Whoa! A baby? Where did you get that? It's crying over there, you guys didn't hear it? I don't know, I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. Dudes, wait. This guy isn't gonna suggest eating the baby, is he? You know what this means? No, I don't. This means there's a girl out there. Whoa, that's a great sound effect. That means there's hope for humanity. What has happened to this earth? What does he mean by hope for humanity? Whoa. I bet she's super hot. <laughs> totally. Guys, this is serious. Yeah, we should probably think about where the baby came from after we figure out how to take care of him or her. Is it a boy or a grill? I didn't check. Mm. Baby, tell me what you are. It's a girl. Wow. Da da dot. We need to tell someone. Like who? Rando? Rajon Rando? Rando Calrissian? If we came to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and cool stuff we want. Okay, it's building the plot in such a way that is making me say, like, what the fuck is going on in this universe? And I appreciate that. Because things are mysterious. Dope, dude. That's actually not a bad idea. The Rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No! No one can know I have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I mean, obviously a baby wouldn't stand a chance fucking anywhere. Brad, that's insane. You'll keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad, uh, go ahead and guess what he's going to name the baby right now. I'm guessing Luigi, obviously. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not going to give her up. Like, um, Rick Astley. 
This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Geez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. Except for, you know, the part where I dropped you. Apologize about that. This game is intense already. And everyone is so forlorn and the, the scenery is dismal. Can I move? No, I can't do anything. I've done very little so far. I've really done very little gameplay. What is this shit? Oh, are they building an underground bunker to hide this child? Why do they need to hide this child? What will happen if somebody finds out? And who does the finding out? I'm asking so many questions right now, I should really just play the game. But geez, the sound in this game is incredible so far. It really does a great job of creating suspense. What is happening right here? It looked like he was having a vision of his father. Oh, I thought I was controlling this person for a second. Oh, this is far into the future now, and that baby seems to have grown quite a bit. She just wants to go outside. Because she's been holed up in here her whole life. What did he just drop down the ravine? I can't really tell what he's doing. Is he sewing something there? Oh. He made a mask for her? Can I do anything? Lisa's growing up. Assuming that that's Lisa. I wonder if we've even given her a name at this point. Man, everybody's taking care of her and teaching her. But it still seems like a miserable existence. What happened to the world that there's really no one else around? What is going on over there? Huh. Is there a platforming element to this game that I'm about to discover? Brad, what's wrong? <laughs> that was an intense scene, and I only understood about half of it. <laughs> Pup? Is there a dog? What is going on over here? Hey, you there! This wild beast won't leave me alone! I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. So give me a hand, will ya? Uh, I love this soundtrack! Holy shit! Can I escape this fight? No, I can't. What? What is in my menu here? I have Armstrong style? <laughs> skills guard? What is my skills? I don't have any skills. Cheese legs? Sure. Um, actually, what happens if I just guard? Oh, he hit me for 43 damage. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna execute something on cheese legs. Input attacks. W-A-S-D. Left punch, right punch, zipper punches, double palm thrust. This is weird because I'm using the joystick right now. Oh, okay, so... Alright, so I can use the joypad for WASD. Um, my... My buttons, I have something, I have a, a joypad akin to like a PS2 controller. Or a PS4 controller. Or a Super Nintendo controller at this point. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Um... But all the different buttons, let's see, if this were a Super Nintendo controller, the X would be W, 
the A would be D, the B would be S, and the Y would be A. Okay. So I did double palm thrust a whole bunch. Um, I don't have any skills, though. Cheese legs barks at you. Brad Armstrong's family styled karate. Okay. Brad won the battle. I got a whole bunch of exp there. And I leveled up. Oh, interesting. Brad has leveled up. New skills, buster punches. It's perfect for a buster like me. Uh, man, look at all that stat growth. My max HP at level 2 is 762. That's amazing. You know what I always wondered about, though? In real life, how much HP do you think you have? And and I'm just going to leave it up to you to determine, like, what kind of scale that would be. You know, like, do humans on average have, like, 10,000 HP, but, like... A simple cut would be like 200 damage or something, you know what I mean? Or do we have something more of a system like, oh, we each have 50 HP and like getting stabbed does like 49 damage. Just something I think about all the time. Leftovers, what is that? Zero mags? Sounds like I got nothing. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. <laughs> you seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Yeah, buddy. I ain't gonna talk about it, though. Like, maybe you could handle some kind of pain-related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? Wait, am I really choosing the, the difficulty here? You know what? Because I've learned nothing from Mega Man 2.5D and other games that were difficult, I'm gonna try pain mode. Cool, that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Pain mode activated. Oh, that's probably a terrible idea. Anyway, I would have helped, but like I said, I hurt my H string. No, that's not what you said. I'm Terry Hints. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. <laughs> see ya. Wait. Wait. Your Pokemon isn't centered. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Mm. Cool, it's settled. Terry Hints joined you. That was an amazing little fanfare right there. Cool, I got an achievement, perhaps? If this balloon wasn't here, you could walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life! That's amazing. That's amazing to know. Can I jump? No, I have an, a menu I can open. Oh, I can pick up bottles, too. What is that good for? Absolutely nothing? Items. Empty bottle. Does it do anything? Weapons? Armors? Key items? I got nothing. Okay. Whoa, there's a note on this tree. Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make fire bombs with them, or even just throw them in battle. You know what? I figured. So pick them up, Terry Hints. Thanks, Terry. What's up, bird? I'm gonna save my game to file three. Holy shit, that crow exploded after I saved my game, which, you know, should have expected that. Saving. You can save your game by consulting a crow. Somebody's gotta remember ya, Lord Hints. Wait, Hints Lord Hints. What did it say? Jumping. When you're standing in front of a short enough ledge, you can hold the up button, then press space bar to jump up. You know what? I'm gonna keep using the joystick, thank you very much. And hold the down button and press space bar to drop down. Try it out. T-Man hints. I like that guy. Oh shit. I figured it out. First try. I can climb ropes. Caution. Be wary of Terry's good looks. They are dangerously appealing. Always looking out. Tear bear. Nice. Did you get that from Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Can I fall off and die? Yes, I can. I forgot for a second that I couldn't inch closer to the edge. So, uh... So it just accidentally fell off. No, that wasn't too accidental. It was kind of intentional, I guess. Oh, shit. Look at me jumping off of ledges and stuff. Resting! If you find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully 
revived, but be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. Oh, shit. I don't like the sound of that. But what choice do you have? Sweet Terry Why? <laughs> Rest here? No. Do I really need it? Yeah, let's try it. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna rest. Right after that note warned me about resting. Twang! Like Jigglypuff's rest. Like instant kill somebody. Uh... Did anything happen to me? <laughs> this drug makes you feel nothing. Use it in a pinch. What is... Is that sound effect part of the music, or is it something I'm doing in the menu? I can jump up there, right? Yeah. Also, this um, footstep sound effect sort of reminds me of Stardew. Stardew Valley, that is. I made it home. Secret's out, Brad. What secret? No, she's gone. Oh, shit. That sounds troubling. Sorry, guy. There's something I gotta do. Is that Brad finally talking? Alone. What happened? <clears throat> what happened? I can't really tell you. Pardon me. Come on, bro. This looks serious. Yeah, I think it does. <clears throat> Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. You know what? I like Terry Hintz's attitude. I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering I'm a very strong warrior. Terry Hintz joined you again. Thank God. Well, look! Maybe he can help out in battle. He seems to be pretty knowledgeable. He's dead. Holy shit. He's dead. Oh, fuck. A picture of the sky that Buddy drew. A picture of Buddy's uncles. Rick, Sticky, and Cheeks. A picture of a happy family. You found a rusty knife. Holy shit. He's dead. Everyone I know and love is dead, except for maybe my adopted daughter. Well... He's got sweaty wristbands. He can't equip that knife. Uh, well, maybe Terry can equip it. Hint Lord sweatbands. Wait, 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 wait. I really can't equip this knife? It's a weapon. Don't use this on your dinner. You'll get sick. Can cause poison. Well, why can't I equip it as a weapon? Maybe they can't use knives. I have an itchy poncho and a dead flower as my accessory. Well, that's kind of strange that I can't equip that uh, knife. So let's get out of here. Maybe it's uh, like a usable in battle? I'm gonna save over file 3 again. Should I go left or down? Well, I imagine I'll find out pretty soon. You found some mystery jerky. That is an item in Earthbound, by the way. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure mystery jerky is an item that you can... You can buy in Earthbound. Was that too far of a jump? Doesn't seem like I got hurt at all. Can I interact with these blood stains? No? Wait, there's an item down there, and I'm going to go get it. Can I jump off the ladder? No, I can't. Oh, shit. I almost went too far. You found some mystery jerky. Uh, I wonder what the mystery ingredient is. Tree? What you got for me? Nothing in there? What is this? He's holding something. You found a diet? Coca-Cola Cola. Oh, boy. Who came through here? Was it the Rando Army? This game is super intense already, and I really like it, but holy shit. Combos. Some characters can use combos in battle via the WASD buttons. 
Additional special attacks can be performed by entering a specific combo. In your skills menu, you can find out how to do special moves by looking at the button sequence. Example, WWS does buster punches. Okay, I already forgot which button is W and S on my joystick. Does that make sense? Wary Terry. Yeah, it sort of does. Out of my way. I want that little bitch all to myself. What the fuck? Okay, um... I'm gonna use Buster Punches then. Walter Stingray. And then Terry is going to give me a hint. Sure. Little cheer. Gives an enthusiastic chant? Uh, that sounds good. Sure. I'll execute that. Walter Sting... Oh, shit. Terry cheers you on. I just did Buster Punches with WWS, but like, also, I didn't have to input any buttons for that. So it just kind of happened. Does this guy have any skills? No. Execute. Terry's been cut. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Brad does a move or some shit. Okay, Terry is like bleeding and doesn't do any damage in battle is what it seems. Um, I'm going to use my Armstrong Karate on him. I'm gonna cheer on Terry and see if that will, like, heal him. Brad's been cut open. Okay, I have bleed. I see. Okay, so his cheering gives me a little bit of, um, of HP back. Brad is bleeding out. Okay, so that's sort of just like a dot that happens, but is not exactly poison. So I'm gonna try Buster Punches here. He's out of MP. I wonder if I can hurt him at all. He kicks up dirt. Terry attacks. Terry is crying. Okay, he's basically pokey. I'm gonna keep doing... Buster punches, I think. I'm gonna have Terry guard. Terry is crying! 59 damage for that skill. So, like, that's pretty good, right? Except I'm still not quite sure if I just do my regular attack and then do like some shit then WWS will that do my skill maneuver in the middle of my attack Terry guards and is crying Brad uses Armstrong fist so I'm just gonna try regular attacking here and I'm gonna keep guarding with Terry because I don't know if he can do anything in battle An excellent hit. This sold salmon swimming downstream tonight. What does that mean? Oh, he died? Okay. Your gang won the battle. Terry leveled up. That's convenient. Terry the Hinster is moving on up. He leveled. Didn't learn any skills or anything. Uh, nothing as a leftover. Cool. Give me something. He's dead. No items there? That's fine. I'm gonna go into this creepy ass cave. Holy shit. This game is awesome and I love it so far. I have no idea what to expect. Um, thank you for the suggestion. But I imagine it's gonna get super hard coming up. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. Did she kick your ass? He's dead. Uh, I must have taught her some karate or something. He's dead. Is this my Lisa that, that did this? Also, I'm just assuming that she's Lisa. Hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. <laughs> Come here so I can kick your arse. Yeah, sure. That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. This guy might be... Jeffrey Coomings. Coomings. Um, I imagine he won't be too hard to beat, because I feel like he's been beat up already a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna attack him. Terry attacks and it does zero. He coughed up blood and took ten damage. Am I reading that right? Uh, I did the old double fist or whatever. The messages are kind of popping up on the screen too fast for me to read. But I'm just gonna beat this guy up and then guard with Terry. He failed to attack me. Ah, god damn it. 
I wonder if I should be killing these guys. Brad says dot 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 at the end of the battle. And he leveled up. Verbal Bash! The Hinster's moving on up. He got a new skill called Verbal Bash. So that's probably neat and good in some way. What is this flag? Nothing? All right. Can I get to that ledge over there? What is all this stuff? Um, can I drop down here? No. Look, there's clearly an item over there, but I don't want to go risk getting it because I haven't saved in a long time. And what's down here? Oh, I can straight up walk on this floor. So, is there anything I can do to get that? And what are all these bloody handprints on the wall? You found some mystery jerky. What does that graffiti say? W2O? Wait, wait, wait. I might have wanted to get an item here. No. Oh, shit. Okay, I just took 10 damage there. And there's probably no reason for it. Yeah, okay. And it doesn't look like I can get any distance when I jump off the side of a ledge. So, so it's, you either go straight down or... Or don't jump at all, I guess. All right, men. I'm going to stay here and block the entrance. You guys go search around in the cage. She's already been through here. I'm sorry. You guys go search around in case she's already been through here. You got it, boss. Sorry, I read it wrong because I got distracted. Sugar boy drifters out. What the fuck? Who are these peoples? Also, it really looks like there's an item down there. And what is happening right now? Is something on fire? Why did the lighting get like that? I definitely want to go down here, though, because I thought I saw something. You found some perfume. What does that do? The sweet scent revives an ally? Interesting. Mystery Jerky recovers dried meat of common Olathean animals. Recovers 300 HP. If you throw this can at someone, it won't hurt. It's a soft drink, haha. <laughs> recovers 200 SP. That's a great joke. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use a Mystery Jerky on my friend, Terry. So that he can tank more damage for me. Is this going to be a thing where I have to, like, dodge the light? Like, I have to stay in the shadows or some shit? I'm climbing up this ladder, dog. Is this a joke, bald man? You think you can handle what's going on out there? Humph. I'll give you a taste. Who is this? Oh my gosh, and these battle screens, Sugar Mountain, are creepy as hell. I'm going to use buster punches on him. And Terry's gonna keep guarding. Astounded by your stupidity, dot dot dot. Brad uses Armstrong Fist for 61. Okay, I'm gonna keep... Actually, well, does it do more damage if I just attack him? Terry guards. He's astounded by your stupidity. We'll keep doing that then. Um, that did a lot of damage right there. I'm gonna keep using... Armstrong style karate on him. The soundtrack is trippy as hell. Sugar Mountain swings with full force. Okay, that did some decent damage to me, but like, I'm not too concerned. Yet. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing this. And have Terry guard. He flailed! He took 69 damage. Or was it 68? I'm gonna keep fighting him. I don't know if Terry wants to attack ever. He's astounded by my stupidity. Alright, well, I seem to be winning. Do I have any skills that I could use? Any hints? No, I'm out of the uh, MP. Use disparaging words to upset the opponent. This can either make them cry or get pissed. 
Well, I wish I had any MP. I could have um, gotten some of my SP back with the Coca-Cola Cola. Ooh, he swung at me there, didn't he? I'm gonna keep using Armstrong style karate and maybe have Terry use a mystery jerky on Brad just in case. <laughs> I got 300 HP back. He attacked with full force. Oh shit, okay. Um, Terry is almost dead. I don't know if that matters, but I guess I want him to level up. I'm gonna have Terry use a mystery jerky. I don't know if that was worth it. He kept flailing. Alright, he would have died if I hadn't done that. Damn it! Hopefully she's already dead so I can see her in hell! Get wrecked, noob. I got 100 exp. And they're both more than halfway up to their level ups. I got some stuff. No, I didn't. That's fine. What is happening here? And who is that down there? Is that a friend or foe? And is there anywhere I can rest? Oh, that was a dumb idea. They're dead. They're still dead. He's dead. You know what I'm gonna do, though? Is I'm gonna save at this crow, and I think I'm gonna call that an episode. So thank you so much. Everybody, for watching this episode of Lisa. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Also, these are my Patreon patrons who, for some reason, haven't asked for their money back.